Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. We did it. We filled up 2018 Topps Chrome Baseball 8-Box Jumbo Edition. Pick your team, number four from jazbeeshobbyland.com. Big, big thank you to all of these folks for getting into the action. Gabe, look at that. Gabe winning the Angels in the spot random. So congrats and good luck to him. Good luck to everybody, of course. So there's everyone right here. We've been pulling some nice stuff out of this Topps Chrome Baseball. So hopefully there'll be some more in here. There's also a Dog Days of Summer promo spot. We'll keep that right there. So it reminds me to do that randomizer at the end. Let's pop this case open. Let's see what we got. Good luck, everybody. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight boxes right there. And we've got five autographs per box on average. Thankfully, every box we've seen so far has been perfectly average, delivering five autographs per box. I don't think we've seen a below average box yet, right? I don't think we've seen an above average box yet. All right, good luck, boys and girls. Box number one. We also have um, a 12-box Hobby Edition random team version of this, ladies and gentlemen. Um, Gavin's asking, are the jumbo packs smaller than last year's? I honestly don't remember last year. I think the box size is the same though. Uh, they may have just, they could have reconfigured the packs. No, I think it was eight packs last year. With, how many packs is this? I don't know. I think it's, I think 12 packs. Was it eight packs last year? The box size is the same though. All right. Good luck, everyone. So we're going to breeze through these guys. Obviously, these refractors and these inserts will definitely ship. It's just vet base like this that won't ship. And obviously, anything serial numbered will ship. Anything like this, even though they're not numbered, obviously, they're inserts, so they will ship. For different parallels, that is. And obviously that Lucas Sims will ship. That will go to Jason. Jason Debney with the Bravos. Nice one for the Braves. Are they still playing right now? No number here. They are. They're leading the Nationals 3-1 in the top of the ninth in Washington. Oh, so they they got they got to Scherzer, huh? A little bit. I saw that Charlie Culberson home run. It's a double header. They lost the first double header though, eight three. I think that's a little bit more short printed, so we'll set that aside. You, oh, you can see my face in the card. <laughs> yeah, the, these are they're they're pretty. Uh, another brave. They're pretty shiny this year. There, there's my face right there. They're pretty reflective this year. We've got AJ Minter for the Bravos. That's another one for Jason. So he's got two of the first five. Amber saying Herrera is horrid. Why can't uh, answer me this? I think Amber is a uh, big Nationals fan. Why can't why can't they score runs? Uh, why can't they score runs for Max Scherzer? I feel like it's kind of it's like Jacob Degrom. 
I'll save one of these Otanis, too, for the Angels. Like, the Mets don't score a run for Jacob DeGrom, but, you know, everyone's like, lol, <laughs> Mets, right? But 85 out of 99, Zach Granite. But, you know, Nationals have a decent offense. And we got Harrison Darth Bader. There'll be no one to stop us now. Uh, that goes to... Oh, hold on. Watch out, top loaders. These guys were about to fall all over the place. Harrison Darth Bader goes to Ryan Redman and the Redbirds. Uh, yeah, Cornerstones did happen already. It should be uploaded. Wow. Orange Aaron Judge. Look at that. 8 out of 25. And that 1983 style. Woo. Patrick K with the Yankees. Nice. It's a nice looking card right there. I'll have to save that for, uh, I gotta take a picture of that. At Jaspie's Hobbyland Twitter. At Jaspie's Hobbyland Instagram. Also, if you check our Twitter, at Jaspie's Hobbyland, um, I dropped a link to our new uh, Flickr album, photo album. Nice Glaber Torres to 50. And there's Brian Anderson. Set that right here for now. Brian Anderson autograph for the Marlins. That'll be for Ben. But check out our uh, check out our Twitter. So if you go to maybe a few hours ago, you should see uh, from 6.50 p.m. Pacific, you should see a link to our Flickr photo album where you can see pictures of a lot of great hits that we've pulled in the past. All right, nice Glaber Torres, 34 out of 50. All right, let's set these aside here so that Aaron Judge plus these four. Nice start. Excellent start. All right. Next box. Good luck. Um, just only a couple final scores right now in baseball, boys and girls. So the Astros beat the Giants 2-1 earlier today. Again, the first game of the doubleheader, the Nationals beat the Braves 8-3. And the Braves are now looking to split the doubleheader. They're in the top of the ninth, 3-1 Braves. Amber was saying, when the Nationals are on, they do great. And Scherzer has had some run support lately, but live and die by the home run in the Nationals' world. I feel like that's, that's the way baseball's trending, though, right? I feel like I hear a lot of Dodgers fans say that too. How come we're, ne we're never playing small ball anymore? It's just, it's just we're, we're waiting for Cody Bellinger to hit a home run or something like that. I feel like that's the way baseball has been kind of trending. It's a final in Miami. Cardinals beat the Marlins 3-2. I think that there are a few games that are pretty close to finishing. Um, the Rays and the Orioles are tied at 3 Going to the bottom of the ninth. In the top of the ninth, the Ast or the uh, Red Sox are leading the Blue Jays by a run. All right. Here we go. Next box. Good luck. We'll go through some other scores in the next box. Chris Zombie looking for a, a Goldie one of one. You can you can sell it you can sell it to Arthur for a good price or Joe P. One out of seventy five. Carlos Carrasco, blue wave for the Cubs. That'll be for Sen Yin. There's Max Fried for the Braves. Jason with another Brave. Gavin says I heavily dislike it when the Phillies play out west as they are against the Diamondbacks tonight. They start 9.40 Philadelphia time. Yeah, that's why, Gavin, there's West Coast bias or East Coast bias. 
against the West Coast. Right? I think I think this might be the one baseball thing that Arthur and I agree with. Like for example, you know, does Mike Trout get as much love as he would if he was a New Yorker? Does Paul Goldschmidt get as much love as he would if he was a New Yorker or from Boston or from Philadelphia? I would argue no. Reese Hoskins gets all sorts of love. Reese Hoskins, speaking of the Phillies, Darren McKenzie, D Mac with a nice Reese Hoskins purple autograph. 74 at 250. But I hear you, Gavin. When I was in a, a couple of years ago, I was at a my buddy's wedding in Brooklyn and and I would get like a notification on my phone being like it would be like you know, Dodgers and so and so just started. And I was like, "What? It's like 10 o'clock." And I was like, "Oh, right. I'm 3 hours ahead now." So a 7:10 start in LA be a 10 10 start in new york and i'd be like come on man yeah okay trout in philly yeah, okay that, that was a not a good example but you know what i mean there's alcantara and brandon woodruff 240 out of 499 nice one for the brew crew that'll go to scott v But yeah, the uh, and so I was like, man, my Dodgers started like it's a refractor auto. My Dodgers started like ten o'clock. How, how do people watch those games if they have like normal jobs or if they wake up at six in the morning or something like that? Couldn't do it. There's Travis Shaw, the two ninety nine. Oh, nice, Titan. You got the... Oh, you got the Lonzo Ball from the Cornerstone break. Nice. Congrats. That was a great hit. A 299, Travis Shaw. That'll be for the Brew Crew. That'll be for Scott V. There's Ryder Jones. A titanium Timmy, what's going on? Saying Bumgarner pitched a gem today. Seven scoreless but lost to the world champs. I saw... I know. I was watching the game. And I was like, oh, man, Giants are cruising right now. But then that two runs in the top of the eighth, I think it was, undid it. Undid that performance. I thought the Giants were going to maybe trade Bumgarner. I don't think they did. There's that Ryan McMahon. Rockies auto going to Chris Callantine. There you go, Chris, on the board. Oh, that's interesting, Gavin. I didn't realize that. The starting pitchers for the Pirates and Rockies game are both cancer survivors. Also, it's James and Tyon. You see, one of... James and Tyon has to be the guy for the Pirates, right? Who's the guy for the Rockies? So that goes to Chris and who has the Giants? Oh, Brent. Brent, that one's yours. Forgot to say the name. There you go. Oppo Joe Mojo. All right, there you go. Oh, Chad Bettis. Yeah, that's true. It's hard to it's hard to get it's hard to get value back for someone like Madison Bumgarner, who represents more than just you know represent more than just uh, just a great starting pitcher. You know, every year, uh, you know, every year there's an article about why the Angels should trade Mike Trout. But you can't do that. Oh, 
a lot of games going on right now. We've got Rangers leading the Mariners 11-4. White Sox leading the Yankees 1-0. These are all in the final third of the game. Brewers leading the Padres 5-4. Cubs shutting out the Royals right now 4-0. Some other games are in the beginning third of the game. Pirates pounding on the Rockies 10-0. All right. Good luck, everyone. Next box. And there's Tomas Nito. Nito. A Nito hit for, for the Mets. TD with the Metropolitans. There you go, TD. I do remember that, Gilo. <laughs> Gabe saying, remember when Eric Berry of the Chiefs had cancer then came back after nine months? But no one does because Tom Brady's deflate gate kind of overshadowed that. There's Brett Gardner to 99. I remember. But yeah, but it's not Tom Brady. There's Reyes Moronta. Speaking of the Giants, future big sexy right there. Brent going oppo, oppo Joe Mojo. 85 out of 250. 250, that's closer to his weight, not 175, my butt. Dude is not. Watch some highlights. He's a great relief pitcher. Watch some highlights. Dude is not 150. One, he's not, dude's not 175. He's closer to 250. He's got to be. He's got to be. <laughs> Future Big Sexy right there. There's J.D. Davis for the Strohs. That'll be for Ken, Ken E. I'm not sure how to say your last name. Eret? I think it's Eret. But there you go, Ken. J.D. Davis autograph coming your way. No, replacing Big Sexy is difficult, but he, unless, I mean, there's a strong possibility that the Big Sexy makes our, uh, makes our cyborg athlete list. He may be a cyborg, but eventually he's going to have to retire. And someone else has to take up that mantle. Printing plate coming up. Someone's getting a train whistle. There's Ronald Herrera going to the Rangers. Chris with that one. Chris Zombie. And it's going to be Ozzy Albius, one of one printing plate. No ink, but still very cool. That goes to Jason Debney and the Braves. Nice. Nice break for the Braves. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. I'm sacking these hits all over the place. What am I doing here? It's Tuesday. It's the beginning of the week. I'm not 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 in a not in a good rhythm yet. <laughs> yeah, that is a pretty good plate to get. It could be your uh, your NL Rookie of the Year next to his teammate Okuna and Juan Soto probably. There's Zach Granite for the Twins. That'll go to Scott V. Harrison Bader has an outside chance.
three, four, and five right there. There are your five plus the plate. Nice, and we'll top load all these before they go out. Just in the interest of time, we just sleeve them up unless they're 25 and under. Yeah, Hoskins too. I mean, I, th I think really, I, I don't think anyone's really running away with it, right? Like Acuna, I think, started to run away with it, but then he got injured. He missed some time. So that, you know, that's part of the thing. Albius may have, may have come up a little too late, possibly. Hoskins could do it. Although Hoskins made such a big splash last summer, you know, when he was just going bananas, that I feel like, I feel like just psychologically the baseball writers may kind of unintentionally ding him for that. You know what I mean? It's like, oh, well, like, it's because it's almost kind of a letdown, even though he's having a great season. You're almost like, oh, well, Reese Hoskins isn't hitting a home run at every other at bat. But yeah, but I think it I think it'll really come down to really between now and the end of the season to see who really is going to set themselves apart in their rookie campaign. All these great rookies too, folks. I, I know a lot of the the hobby attention is on that guy, you know, Otani and he certainly carries that kind of secondary market value to do so, but there's a lot of great rookies this season. You know, and so there's there's a lot of guys to collect. Not like this guy, Albius. There's Sean Doolittle for the Nats out of 299. That'll be for the Nats. Bruce Will with the Nationals. You know, like this guy, Okunia Jr. You know, so there's some good names there. Harrison Bader. There's Tanner Scott for the O's. That'll be for Anthony Frank and the Orioles. Nice freshman flash, Otani. We'll save one of those, too. There's Hunter Wood for the Rays. I like what the Rays are doing with um, with having that opening pit, that having kind of having a relief pitcher day out of 4.99. I think that's a, a smarter move than a lot of people may think. Take like one of your shutdown relievers, right? That can throw gas, especially if you have a couple of them that throws gas and is always the guy that comes out in the high leverage moments. Have him pitch the first inning against the one, two, three, maybe four hitters, right? They're the best ones. Get them out of the way, and then your actual starter starts with like the five, six, seven, eight hitters. Redemption on the back right here. Any guesses on that redemption? All right, Andrew K., what's going on? Timmy's ready for uh, Steven Duger to live up to his hype. Oh, did I? Patrick, the, our shipping team will find that. There's Kiwi Mea for the Reds. That'll be out of 150 for the Red Legs. Chris Callantine with that one, Chris Zombie. That's right, Gabe, the, the, what, what they call the opener. An opener pitcher, then your starter, then the other guys. So we have three. We should have one more auto here and then the redemption. Uh, TD and Amber both guessing, uh, guessing Devers. And what's this? Oh, nice. The rookie medallion. Francisco Lindor rookie medallion for the tribe. That'll go to Paul Coolwit. 
with the Indians. Some of these are numbered. We've seen one that was orange, I think, and then some of these are even autographed. I have not seen one that's autographed yet. That's the one per case. That's a case hit. Jackson Stevens and Felix Jorge is your fourth auto. That's for Scott and the Twins. And Jackson Stevens blue, I guess, wave or shimmer out of 75. That is for the Reds. All right, so upside down Jose Abreu. Bye, Jose. You are due to receive a rookie autograph. No parallel of... N. Shoei doesn't start with N. Sorry, Raphael does not start with N either. Nick... Nick Williams? Nick Williams is a Philly, I think, right? Why am I blanking over Nick Williams goes? He is a Philly. He's a Philadelphia... Not like a horse, ladies and gentlemen, but a Philadelphia Philly. That goes to Darren and the Phillies. Not a horse, though. Not a Philly, like a horse. All right. There you go. Nick Williams. All right. We are officially halfway through this break, folks. Only four boxes left. 20 autographs to go, so still a lot of potential hit potential left. Good luck, everyone. Good luck. How are my picks doing today? I, I won my Houston pick today. I got Red Sox, Twins, Orioles, Rangers, and Cubs. How are the Red Sox doing? Red Sox are tied at five in the top of the tenth. They still have a chance. Twins. How are the Twins doing? Twins are leading 3 nothing against the Indians. Uh, that's in the third inning. How are the Orioles doing? Orioles lost to the Rays. Did not, did not get that one. Rangers. Rangers are leading 11-4 in the eighth. They should be fine. What about Cubs? Cubs are leading 4 nothing over the Royals. All right, all right. I'm, st I'm still in the mix. Some of these picks. All right. Next one. Good luck, everybody. Next box. All right. So we should be. We're halfway through. Once again, this is pick your team number four. Halfway through the break. 20 autographs to go. We should be done with this break a little bit after the bottom of the hour. So after that. Once I put this break away and take a picture of that, that nice Aaron Judge we pulled early on, that orange Aaron Judge, once we do that, we're going to see what direction we're going to go in after this. We Our dog days of summer promo is actually really, really close. So if you like, take a look at our break menu, I'm sure everyone has that bookmarked by now. If you take a look at that menu, you should be able to see, um, should be able to see what breaks are remaining. I also have to update our calendar, too, for upcoming releases here for the next couple weeks in August. Stay tuned for that after this break. If you're watching a replay of this video, you could probably check, and it'll probably be there. All right. Um, we, uh, we used to do BGS submissions, but not anymore. We got Fernando Romero. Raiders to trade Khalil Mack? That's not true. 
Unless it's for like Von Miller or Aaron Donald. <laughs> There's Fernando uh, Romero for the Twins. That'll go to Scott V. We got Tommy Pham to 150. Who's reporting that? Some kid on Twitter, Arthur? Or like Ian Rappaport? Oh, because of his holdout? That must be a scare tactic, right? There's Anthony Stantner. The Raiders should just trade for Aaron Donald and then they'll they'll hold out again. Wow, Kevin Lesser saying it's just posted. Yahoo and ESPN are saying that? Well, who are they going to trade him for? You can't possibly get any decent kind of value back for Khalil Mack. Just because he's almost too valuable. Hmm. That's in, in, There's Nick Williams right there. We just pulled his redemption. That's an interesting move. Somewhat unexpected. There's Jacob Barnes going to the Jets. What are the Jets going to give the Raiders? What are the Jets going to give us? Out of 499, Jacob Barnes for the Brew Crew. That'll be for Scott V. We'll take a we'll take a Leonard Williams and draft picks. How about that? First round picks. Dallas Keuchel. And Trevor Williams, Pirates. Chris Callantine with the Buckos. There's Hunter Wood for the Rays. And that'll be for Scott V as well. There's Andrew Anderson Simmons out of 99. Was well, there any other info, Kevin Lesser, to the Jets? For what? It better not just be draft picks. I'd be kind of bummed about that. And there's Simmons to 99 for the Angels. Hmm. So Patrick Goodwin is saying they're lying. Mac is staying in Oakland. Oh, is that right, Patrick? So, you have reports other than ESPN and Yahoo? What are your sources? Come on, not Bilal Powell. Raiders don't need any more running backs. Okay, so, you're, so Arthur's trying to find the specifics, but doesn't see anything. I guess maybe just re maybe just reports now. Sorry. My Amari Cooper hands. Right there. Sometimes I get all Amari Cooper hands. All right. Third to last box. Third to final box. Or second to last box, as some might say. And then the next bo next to last box. Then the last box. I think. 
Three boxes to go. One, two, three. All right, let's see. I got to look at this Khalil Mack news afterwards. There's Otani. Now, why would they? I guess they would instead of paying paying Khalil Mack. I suppose that makes sense. I mean, if you argue that, I don't think the Raiders are really primed for the Super Bowl this year. Any guesses on that redemption? I know, Patrick. I'm excited about the about the preseason. I think the Raiders are playing the Lions. I think on Friday. There's Adrian Sanchez. I suppose. I don't think I don't think the Raiders really had, especially with the transitional season under Gruden, that the chance of the Raiders going going on winning the Super Bowl was not very strong this year. Bruce Will with the Nationals. So if they believe that, you know, then maybe you try to move you try to move Khalil Mack for other pieces now rather than later, instead of like franchising him for a couple years in a row and whatever. There's Walker Bueller at 99 going through all that tr hassle. And just kind of re deconstruct slightly and reconstruct in the way Gruden and Reggie McKenzie want. There's Jordan Lutlow. Maybe. Yeah, preseason football, not not exactly my favorite thing. <laughs> All right, that goes to the Buckos. That's for Chris Callantine. Let's sleeve up that Bueller. Going to the Dodgers, that'll be for Brent. Otani in that early 80s style. Is that another redemption down there? It's a two redemption box, ladies and gentlemen. Behind Victor Robles, Trey Mancini, purple. That's the two ninety nine. Oh, and there's Chris Stratton for the Giants, Brent. Khalil Mack for Gronkowski? Like Rob Gronkowski's brother? <laughs> or like Glenn Gronkowski? Or actual Rob Gronkowski. <laughs> All right, there's three autos and four and five. Well, that, that just sounds like wacky speculation at this point. What is real? What am I supposed to believe, Kevin Lesser? Maybe some random dude on Twitter? Uh, you are due to receive a rookie autograph, no parallel of. Shohei doesn't start with C. Chad? Chance? Chance. Chance Cisco is your rookie auto for the Orioles. And that'll go to Anthony Frank with the O's. All right, there you go, Mr. Frank. All right, behind Chris Bryant, Superstar Sensations insert, you are due to receive a rookie autograph blue refractor parallel. I think those are the 150, something like that, of N. Another Nick Williams. Nick Williams. There you go, Phillies. 
And that'll go to DMAC. You got the team right, Patrick. All right, two boxes to go. Got about 10 or so minutes left in this break, folks. Uh, I see four orders coming in, so we're going to see... Uh, what we're going to do next, jazbeeshobbyland.com. And Rich reporting, this is even more important news, breaking news, everybody, breaking news. Upper deck, Supreme Hardcourt Basketball down to three. Three left. Let's do it. Big hits in there, plus a chance at a Dog Days of Summer promo entry for a chance to win a full sealed case of 2018 Panini Elements football or $500 of Jaspi's Hobbyland break credit, among other prizes. That's nice. It's not too shabby. All right. Arthur has breaking news for us. 35 days until Spectra football. There you go. Spectra football on the way. One of Arthur's favorite breaks. We got Glaber, Tor Glaber, Tor Glaber Torres. Glaber Day. Glaber Torres. And then for Darren and the Phillies, Victor Arano. Rich just wants the break credit. There's Eric Fetty and Troy Scribner for the Angels. That's for Gabe and the Angels. No Tani yet. And all those inserts will start, all those inserts will add up too. <laughs> yeah, Rich is like wrong angel. I know, sorry, Troy. Any other year, it'd been like, okay, yeah, Troy Scribner. There's Richard Urena for the Blue Jays, Big Boys 007 on the board. There's Justin Verlander to 150. There's Verlander again. Redemption, <laughs> Walker Bueller, Gold Wave. I think those are out of 50. I didn't even know that redemption was there. That goes to Brent and my Dodgers. Who are playing the A's right about now. Dodgers future ace right here. A little Dodger Joe Mojo as well. I think the Dodgers just started their series against the Oakland A's. And they're up one nothing in the bottom of the first. Well, the game's in the bottom of the first. They're in Oakland. Dodgers score in the top of the first. Yeah, it was like, surprise, redemption. Usually usually you can spot it, like, from right there. There's Anthony Rizzo out of 99 and a nice Miguel Andujar. Not numbered, 
But that is for the Yankees. Patrick K. We've got the Yankees straight up. There you go. I like the autographs with the, the Andujar autographs with the slashes through it. There's Rizzo to 99. Sleeve up that Verlander too. And that's one, two, three, four, five. There you go. Maybe parallel? No, that's it. All right. Nice. Miguel Andujar might be, could be your uh, AL Rookie of the Year, right? Looks like the Red Sox scored five in the top of the 10th Ooh. to take a 10-5 lead over the Blue Jays. Blues are, Blue Jays are coming up in the bottom of the frame to attempt to crawl back, but that's not good. Good for me, though. I, I think I picked the, the Red Sox today. Other games inching closer and closer to finishing. I think the next closest game to finish would be the Mariners in Dallas. Texas Rangers are up 11-4 in the top of the ninth. And that's the last chance for the Mariners. And this is the last box, folks. Last chance for the Mariners. Last box for you guys. Thanks very much, boys and girls, for joining this break. Pick your team number four. I think we've got a few more cases in the store. So we'll pop another one, post another one a little bit later tonight. I do kind of want to focus on the uh, I do kind of want to focus on the dog days of summer breaks tonight. Alright, good luck everybody. Got four orders coming in. Jaspieshobbyland.com. We'll check those right after this break. And behind Reese Hoskins is Rowdy Reed for the Nats. The Swarm, Jared reporting that Otani just hit a three-run bomb. Nice. Maybe we maybe we have to maybe we have to raise the prices of the Angels now. Does Otani have a chance? I mean, he has to start raking like right now. And he has been hitting a lot of... He hit two in that one game last few days ago, a few nights ago. But Otani, obviously, was was out for a little while due to uh, the elbow thing. He's not pitching anymore. Otherwise, if, if he was able to pitch and hit the entire season, I think he would have been a lock for AL Rookie of the Year. There's Breivik Valera for the Cardinals. That would be for Ryan Redman. But now that he's just hitting... Yeah, it might have a little ways to go if he wants to battle everybody, all the other talent in the AL. Could. Just has to go bananas. Could go bananas. Could just go off. There, There's my boy Alex Verdugo for the Dodgers. That goes to Brent. Arthur saying it was 115 degrees in Arizona. I was boiling here too, Arthur. Like 85 degrees. 287 out of 499. Brent with another Dodger. There you go, Brent. Nice break for you on this one. Walker Bueller gold and the Verdugo. Boiling, Arthur. There, there is no air conditioning. <laughs> don't punch your screen. You don't, I don't want to be responsible for replacing your phone or your iPad or your computer. Um, we don't have air conditioning in Santa Monica because it never gets that hot. Every once in a while, it goes it goes up to that point, then it gets uncomfortable. I, Arthur, we've discussed this before. How did uh, out of two ninety nine, Rysel Iglesias? Bailamos, let the rhythm take you over. Bailamos. I don't think they're related. They could be. I don't know. I haven't checked. But how did they do? The other pitcher, 
for the Angels. Parker Bridwell for Gabe. Um, what about a? Uh, what about like the old days? How do the Cowboys do it in the eighteen hundreds? Right? How did how did they survive in in Surprise Arizona? You know, in Tombstone Arizona in the eighteen hundreds, how do they do it? They might have to buy like a block of ice from the Iceman, you know, and then just sleep on that, I guess. Oh, it wasn't that hot. I mean, okay, even if it wasn't that hot back then, you know, 90 degrees is still hot, right? Is that right, Kevin? They just, they, they were just like, just human beings of that era were just tougher back then. Yeah, but even uh, uh, Michael Renry, even if it wasn't that hot in the 1800s, it still it still has to be. Well, no, it's not political. It's true, but but still, it's still hot though. Like, it still has to be like 90s. Still hot. There's Verdugo to 99. Fifty-three out of ninety-nine for the Verdugo, and that's it, folks. I guess they were just tougher back then, and it just wasn't as hot. I still think you would be hot. All right, nice break, everybody. We started off with that Aaron Judge, eight out of twenty-five. That's still a very nice hit. Thank you very much, everybody. Dog Day is the summer promo time, so let's go grab a blank. Oh, I already made a blank list. Good, good job, Joe. Past Joe, looking looking out for future Joe. For this moment. Chris, down to Bruce. Chris, down to Bruce. Have to hold down to the shift key, Joe. Let's paste them into here. Let's randomize that list. Eight times, four and a four, eight the hard way. And the name on top will get the entry. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And eighth and final time. After eight times, name on top after eight times is... DMAC. There you go, Darren. After eight times, Darren McKenzie starting his Nick Williams PC. And an entry into the Dog Days of Summer promo. Thanks, everyone. Joe for jazpyshobbyland.com. We will see you next time for the next break.